How's it going everybody? For today's beer review, we're going to be taking a look at Deschutes Brewery's Fresh Squeezed IPA. So this is a beer that has been recommended to me by my buddy Nico, the one that you see with me sometimes in um, video reviews. Um, this is a Deschutes Brewery's Fresh Squeezed IPA. Um, just the artwork and the name make it just sound tasty. Um, it comes in at... 6.4% alcohol by volume, so it is um, a decent you know, ABV for it uh, being just a regular IPA. The description says, This mouth-wateringly delicious IPA gets its flavor from a heavy helping of citra and mosaic hops. Don't worry, no fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. <laughs> Bond Street Series. And uh, not much on it, but yeah, really colorful, probably one of the most colorful labels that Deschutes has, has ever made, I will say, because most of their stuff is uh, the word bland, not bland, just, you know, kind of bland. <laughs> um, I'm going to be drinking this out of my Dogfish IPA glass, do it up proper. So uh, let's get the cap off of here and see what Fresh Squeezed IPA is all about. I'm hoping this will be my new go-to IPA, because right now that's Modus Hopperandi. The color's nice, it pours a nice kind of orange copper color. I gave it a pretty mild pour there, and yet it still formed about a half finger of um, just slightly off-white, um, medium dense head. Um, there's a decent amount of bubbles streaming up to reinforce the head, though not as many as I would expect from it being just a regular IPA, not an Imperial. Um, up in the light, it is just kind of a golden honey color, as you can see. Smell. Wow. Oh, man, that smells fantastic. There's pineapple, fresh, like sweet, juicy pineapple. Apple, hops, grapefruit. Possibly even some peach or mango, persimmon, apricot, even very light, almost effervescent touches of caramel on the very back side of it, which is um, when I smell that in IPA, I know it's probably pretty good. Um, so the aroma, awesome on this. Let's give it a taste and see if it lives up to the hype that I have received from a buddy. Very different, very different from most IPAs that I've drank. But good. It's almost like there's no bitterness, at least to me, um, at all. It's very um, smooth and it goes down easy, and there's it's like whenever you drink that IPA, you get that sweetness and you swallow it and you're just waiting for that that bitter bite to kick in on the sides of the tongue. And it just doesn't happen with this one. There's a decently sweet amount of hops and a little bit of grapefruit. A lot of the... Uh, Flavors of that aroma, for me, are kind of lost in the in the taste, um, as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> it almost seems a little bit watered down, is the way that I would word it. It's like, this once was a very sh good... Um, kind of strong IPA, but some water was added to it. And I don't mean just because, like, the flavor isn't that strong. Even even the carbonation, like, there's not really a carbonation by it. It's like it's been subdued. It's a lot more liquidy. Um, there's no bite to it, really. Um, it's very mellow. Um, that's not to say it's bad. It's definitely sessionable. Probably one of the most sessionable IPAs that I've ever drank. Um... But the flavor, the flavor on this one, at least to me, is a little bit weak. For me, this is beyond sessionable. This is like a lawnmower beer. Like if I was hot and doing like intensive, you know, yard work or something, 
I would throw these back like they were domestic. Not to say it tastes like domestic, you know, but I could throw it back like it was just a domestic beer. Um, for me, even for my go-to sessionable IPAs, I still like something a little bit stronger than this. Um, what I will say is that this would be a fantastic introduction, I, have, I believe, to IPAs um, for a first-time drinker. Um, because it's it's very not very bitter at all. It gives you just slight touches of those kind of citrus grapefruit sort of taste that people are unfamiliar with in their beer when they're first starting off drinking craft beers and the like. Um, for me, it's it's not really doing me any favors. Um, I bought a six pack of it, and I'll definitely you know drink through it and stuff. Um, but I probably won't buy it again simply because for me there are better IPAs that come in six packs. Um, you know, I would, I would, I would go to a Modus Hopperandi from Ska Brewing or um, a Founders Centennial IPA for something sessionable before I would go to this. So as far as a rating for this goes, I don't know. I'd cut it right in the middle, five, maybe a five point thirty-five out of 10. Um, it's okay if you're a first time drinker, this would be a great start, but for anyone out there with um, seasoned uh, seasoned palate, um, I would imagine this uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be too crazy, wouldn't be anything to write home about. Anyway, that has been my review of the Deschutes Brewery's Fresh Squeezed IPA. Hope you guys enjoyed the review as always, and stay tuned for the next one.